We've always wanted the planets in EVE to be something more than just a backdrop. Planets are where most of the resources in a solar system are, and planets are where human populations tend to live. So it just makes sense that the capsulars would eventually turn their eyes towards the planets in search of ways to make themselves richer and more powerful. With planetary interaction feature, we've got a great opportunity to enhance EVE Online. We're able to expand the trading aspect of the game, removing static NPC bought and sold goods, moving that aspect of the game more into the player's hands by letting them actually build many of the things previously only sold by NPCs. We feel that with a game like EVE Online, where manufacturing and trade play such a fundamental role, that improving this aspect of gameplay can only be a good thing. When setting out to design planetary interaction, we had a few goals. The UI had to be taken to the next level. It had to be sexy and we wanted to make you feel like you wanted to reach out and touch it. No spreadsheets in space here. The feature also had to support varied playstyles, from the person who can only log on every few days to the person who really wants to get in there and tinker. It also had to be classic EVE. And by that, I mean it had to include the things that make EVE Online such a unique experience. Maybe you're wondering what I mean by that. I'm talking about things like depth. EVE is known to be a thinker's game where player skill and knowledge can turn the tides, so planetary interaction had to be something that players could think about when they are away from the computer. We wanted to make people have thoughts like, maybe I should abandon those plankton colony extractors on my oceanic planet and switch to felsic magma extraction on my lava planet. Or, I wonder if I could optimize my wetware mainframe processors when I get home from work tonight. I bet if I change the ratio of extractors to processors, I could increase my profits. That brings me uh, to the other point about Classic Eve. Planetary interaction had to run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Like so many other features in Eve, skill training and manufacturing for instance, we wanted planetary interaction to continue to run while you're offline so you have something to look forward to the next time you log in. So in Tyrannus, once you've set up your colony, uh, you should be able to make relatively passive income off it with just occasional tweaks to the network. It won't be totally passive, your resources will deplete and your neighbor might also deplete those resources, but we wanted people to be able to play it with a more casual manner than if we were developing a real-time strategy game, for instance. So, those are just a few of the things on our minds when we we're developing this feature for you. We really hope you try it out when it hits tranquility and that you like it as much as we do. Thanks for watching and remember to always fly safe.